Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, the Daily Trader. It is June 8th, and we are going to take a look at Tesla, Palantir, NVIDIA stock, Bitcoin, silver, gold, Ripple, and also the stock indices from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. But Tesla is up $10.29. That's 4.58%. Closed at 234.86. Post market, we are up by 7.56 cents. So this is absolutely crazy. Tesla is going super high, super fast. Let's just do a bit of a recap. So we broke 217.65 four days ago, three days ago. Nice break. We had the uh, stochastic over 60. We had uh, come outside of our downward bullish channel. We had broken, as I said, 217.65, which is a horizontal resistance. So when we have one, two, and stochastic over 60, the buy signal is pretty clear. And guess what happened? We had a gap yesterday a little bit, a gap up, but a red candle. But look at the candle we have today. And it seems like tomorrow this is going to be even farther. This is just fantastic. Let's just enjoy this. This is the current broader bullish channel that we have. We have the smaller bullish channel right here. And uh, this is not going fast enough to contain Tesla. Tesla is, it's been the second days. It's been climbing faster than this bullish channel. If the slug continues at this rate, we should we should be reaching 260 not too long ago. And then we are going to see what Tesla does if we cross it or if we cave under it. Let's take a look at the one hour chart. So on the one hour chart, the first hour of the day was pretty much right smack to where we closed yesterday. We sat on 222.97. Nice first hour, nice second hour. Then we pulled back a little bit, very minor, and we are continuing on. All of the indicators are super bullish on the one hour chart. Let's go back to the daily chart. All of our indicators are super bullish. Again, RSI being overbought does not mean you need to sell. You should not sell. You should just keep holding on for dear life because we had the great move while RSI has been overbought. Let's take a look at some Tesla news. So we have General Motors uh, that partners with Tesla to integrate unified charging standard, expands charging access to Tesla network. So as Ford has just done, General Motors said that it will partner with Tesla to integrate their special connectors. This is really going to help GM. We are going to see this. And the Tesla will also benefit because they will become the charging standard. Tesla plans for 375,000 cyber trucks per year will have released candidates by late August. This is very soon. We hope we can get a look at this car. Also, Tesla is rumored to be planning a more than 4.5 billion factory in Spain. I just love how Tesla is planning new factories. There's a new one that they are planning in Mexico on top of the Texas and Berlin one. Go Tesla, keep building these factories. Let's take a look at Palantir. So after a weird day yesterday, so Palantir is rebounding pretty good. It's rebounding pretty good. So you see that 1441 is important because this was pretty much the low of the day. So we opened right smack, pretty much right smack on that support. Broke it a little bit down during the day, but then we are launching up a little bit. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit difficult here. This is really a congestion zone. It was not starting to uh, look like one because it looked like we were getting outside of 15 bucks, above 15 bucks. But uh, because of yesterday and today, uh, this is looking more and more like a congestion zone. That's fine. As I said, when we are into a channel, we should go bouncing on support and resistance. And we were on the resistance side. So we are slowly going to that support side. And let's hope that it launches even faster afterwards. NVIDIA is up $10.35. Uh, that's 2.76% closed at 385.10. Post markets seem to be up a little bit. Again, we see that support at 374.71 is important because we are bouncing right smack on it. 
You know, if we want to be precise, we can see that we are into a decreasing uh, triangle right here. We are making lower highs right here, but our lows are at the same level. So at some point, the stock is going to have to decide if it wants to break that line right here or this one right here. So I don't think we are going to have to wait a long time to see this. I think that by the middle of next week, we should be clear at where Nvidia wants to go next. A VIX is coming down. So we are down 0.29. That's 2.08% that closed at 1366. So we are coming down like crazy. So the more the VIX is going down, the more the stock market is going up. Basically, this is how it works. And look at this. You no, know, this is really an indication that the fear in the stock market is just going away. QQQ, a green day today as opposed to the big red candle that we had yesterday. Dow Jones, Jones in Ching higher after this little bit of a dip right here. Stochastic is super strong at 96. So this should be able to reach 34,690 very soon. S&P 500, we have a little bit of a pause right here, which is pretty much where we had this top uh, on August 2022. So we are a bit shy coming close to that top. And as soon as we break it, then uh, we should be uh, able to move a lot freer. That top is at 43.24. So NASDAQ is in pretty much in the same position. Uh, we are close to the top. If I draw the top right here. Top is at 13187. We are being hesitant a little bit below, above, below, above. The same thing, once we break it for good, we should be able to reach a lot higher. Physical goal is it's just going sideways and we don't have any stochastics, so uh, there's no bullish impulse there yet. A silver, okay, silver is starting to show something different right now. So we don't have stochastic over 60, so uh, any move up should not be believed. But we see that it's trying. So we closed above our big downward resistance. So the big question, is it going to last? We should not believe this break. We should not believe this break yet because we don't have a good stochastic. I would wait until silver breaks 841 to convince us that it really wants to go back up uh, further. Bitcoin, uh, you know, I would still call it undecided. There is no stochastic. Ripple still has a good stochastic. It's still going sideways. So eventually, maybe we are going to bounce on this. And then US dollar is dropping a little bit. So we are close to our support right here. So we might be coming back down soon. We still have stochastic over 60. So there's still chance that we bounce on this. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my trading view affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.